I'm Andrew Reed. I'm the director of the Leaders Initiative here at the Heights, and I've also been the head of our middle school for 25 years. American education has gone through many transformations. One of the things that we are really serious about is supporting what we describe as the new spring. The new spring of American education. We're seeing, just like after a forest fire, there's a second generation of growth. We're seeing schools pop up all over the country, schools that we didn't even know existed, and we're in touch with them. Well, there is, uh, clearly there are all over the country a great need for more schools, perhaps for different schools, uh, schools with clear missions, schools that are speaking to where parents want and need. Um, and what we see is that our role is not so much in starting schools necessarily, uh, but is in helping those who are starting the schools to start well and have a real sense of, of what, what kind of education the schools should be providing. And the, the most practical, the most beneficial, the most effective way to do that is by having principals and, and, and heads of the schools, leaders of the schools, that um, they have a clear view of what they, are, they have to do and how to do it. The Leaders Initiative is a program of professional formation and executive coaching for both new and aspiring school leaders. Uh, the program has two components to it. The first component consists in group sessions, and these group sessions uh, occur in small cohorts, usually four to five participants per cohort, um, and those happen on a monthly basis uh, via Zoom. And as well for the group sessions, we also have at least once during the, during the program an in-person, on-campus uh, component to that as well, which is really crucial for forming those, uh, those friendships. Um, and then the other component is the one-on-one -on -one mentoring that will happen between each participant and the program director. And those are just great moments in which the participants can, can dive deep on, on the specifics, exactly what's going on, the nitty-gritty, both in terms of the big picture of their school and then also in terms of the little things that happen and in ways in which they can better respond on a, on a daily basis. The, the reason to join this program, the reason I would, I would uh, encourage um, young principals or, or, or potentially you know, soon-to-be principals and school leaders to join this program is that um, one, you're gonna get a lot of really good content. Uh, one of the one of the things that happens when you are a young school leader is that, that really you don't know what you don't know. And, and there are very few people you can ask the question of what is it that you don't know that you should know, <laughs> right? So, so to have some people who, who can give you a heads up, you know, it, it's, it's not unlike uh, being a parent where, where, where you hope that somebody would tell you, okay, for the next year when your child goes from 12 to 13, here's some things to think about so that you're not always in reactive mode, right? Always reacting to something that just happened and trying to figure out how to deal with it. So that content is gonna be extremely beneficial, right, for, for a young school leader. Um, in addition to that, I think even more importantly, you're gonna get a peer group, right? You're gonna get a peer group of other people in the same situation with the same questions or similar questions with whom you're gonna develop this relationship and you're gonna be able to listen to them and see what they're going through, how they're seeing things, comparing with your own experience, and growing together. And growing uh, together because being led by a very experienced school leader, right, who can give you both a heads up of things that you should be thinking about, and also to have that expert leader who can guide you along things that come up and how to, how to react to those. So it's both a peer group and the leader within, within that group, within the Leaders Initiative, that is gonna provide that, that guidance. I would say community best describes a Leaders Initiative. Um, we're creating a community of leaders who are leading schools, um, and leading schools to, you know, in this new wave of 
renewal of education and uh, having that community makes us all stronger uh, instead of each being in our own fight in our own little you know sector uh, realizing that we're not alone that we're all together and bring us together and what can we learn from each other and how can we be stronger and then go back out and fight your fights but know that you got someone's got your back uh, that's really valuable I would say what's most impactful has probably been Meeting, meeting all the people here at the Heights, um, just really getting to know how important it is that, you know, it's important to have others who, who have the same mission and have the same goal, um, and to just be able to come, like, talk about with them, you know, about everything that comes on throughout the day, right? And to be able to kind of share, hey, what do I do if this happens, or what do I do if this, you know, practicals, but then also big vision, right? Being able to say, hey, in five years, what's like, how do I get to this point, right? And to be able to have others to share that with is, for any educator, is, is remarkable. Um, I know that most administrators are also always looking to, to collaborate, right? And to have an environment that is intentionally made for that um, really changes, changes everything. Um, so yeah, I would say it's the most influential thing in the first few years of my education, like, you know, as being a teacher, educator, um, it's the most influential thing I've ever participated in. Leaders Initiative changed the way I envision the formation of the school uh, and the formation of specifically the families in the school. And that was one of the early lessons uh, of the Leaders Initiative curriculum was just to talk about how do we form not only the students, but their families, as we get them for one portion of their day, uh, and the rest of that is at home with their families, right? And so we can teach them one thing here, and if there's nothing changing at home, then you know the, the chances of those changes that we're trying to implement uh, taking root are, are less. Uh, but if we can reach out through the student into the family and help form and shape the family and this, to create a community of families where they can form each other uh, all for the good, then that's our ultimate mission is to, is to form everybody in the community, not just the student who's showing up on a day-to-day -day basis. I would absolutely uh, recommend it to anyone uh, who is leading a school or interested in leading a school uh, and the reason for that is um, it gets right to the point that there is no wasted time in the uh, in the curriculum uh, you know as a leader you think gosh do I have enough time for one more thing uh, going on and uh, the pacing is just right uh, and they get right to the heart of the matter there's no fluff uh, in it and it's very valuable it's one hour a month uh, and Anybody can make one hour a month out of their schedule, uh, and then the time is well worth it. I never, you know, leave that hour thinking, "Gosh, I wish I had had that time to be, sh you know, shooting emails out or making phone calls." It's no, that was time that was well spent. So, 100%. The Leaders Initiative is actually the starting point of a relationship, and often what we'll end up having happen is you know, we have many individual conversations that take place during the program. But then in the time after the program, we'll keep in touch and individuals will be sending even members of their own team here to visit the Heights or to trade ideas. We continue to host people at our conferences. We also will continue to keep in touch and take a personal interest in the future of each Leaders Initiative participant's professional career. The Leaders Initiative is, is very unique because, um, sure, it, it provides the peer group and the guidance and it provides the content. The most important thing that it provides is the sense that schools live or die according to the culture they have. And the number one culture setter of in a school is going to be the school leader. And the reason that the Leaders Initiative can do that is because it is born out of a school. And the point is not that everyone should replicate the culture that we have at the heights that the heights has. That's not the point. It shouldn't be the point. It shouldn't be done. But what should be imitated is the understanding that you have a culture as a school that that culture is what gives life to everything else at the school. That is the most important thing at the school. And that as a leader, you need to understand what that culture is or ought to be. And what are the main factors that make it happen that way? And what are the main dangers 
that would erode that culture. That's what I think is the most important thing that Leaders Initiative can provide to these young principals.